All right, let's do this. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Brewing soon, but we're really all focused on making this a really great hour live stream for you guys. So just bear with us as we finish. Everyone has to get comfy. Oh, cool. Okay. We are watching Tenocon 2018 right now. Get in here and hang out as we check out the fun new stuff coming to Play Warframe. All right. Let me. Let me. Are we good? Oh, we're so good. God, look how many people there are there. That's as good as it gets. Oh yeah. Let me see here. Hands up if you've heard that melody today. I don't know what this is, Dean. Subliminal. Not yet. I don't know what that is. What's this? We're, rated, we're reminding you all this is an M-rated game, so if we do anything... It's an M-rated game? Really? Just, yeah, yeah. M-rated panel yes. coming up. Children, cover your ears. No. Rebecca, but are you ready to go? We are about to begin Tenno Live 2018 from TennoCon. Oh, okay. Here we go, boys. This is my first TennoCon. I'm kind of excited. Whether we want it or not, because we're nervous. Oh my to god, be. here we are. Here we are. I can't yeah. believe it. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. I see uh, Sheldon's the only one that didn't get the memo about a white shirt. Oh, yeah, it was a white shirt day. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. It's very important to start every keynote. It's a Comey board. Yeah. <laughs> White's oh, about to win. Or Comey board, yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to win. But yes, Boom. hello everyone. Welcome to our sort of finale of our third ever TennoCon. It's pretty insane that this hour has hit us. I kind of can't believe it, you guys. I'll quickly, you can take a moment to introduce yourself to the viewers at home that are watching. Maybe some people here might need a refresher. Scott, why don't we start with you? My name is Scott McGregor. I'm the di design director here at DE and on Warframe. See, this is great, because this is the first time I'm actually putting, like, faces with names and, like, seeing the people that make this. I'm actually almost more excited for that than anything. Uh, I'm Steve Sinclair. I'm the creative director on Warframe. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Ford. I work on the community team. Oh, that's Rebecca! Space Mom! <laughs> Love it. Love it. It's Space Mom! I'm Jeff Crooks. I'm the art and animation director. Man, they got like their A team up here. Damn. And uh, I'm Sheldon Carter. I'm the studio general manager. They brought out everyone. Prime Chamber. As I look around, I see faces that have been here every year. I see the DE staff that have made this next hour possible. So huge thank you to them. And I also, of course, if you watched our prize bonanza earlier, we have to thank our sponsors like AMD, NVIDIA, Razer, Asus, and of course, Twitch, which if you're watching on Twitch right now, there is an Ash Prime Twitch drop for you. And if you're in the audience, don't worry. We're going to get you all one, too, within the next two weeks. So don't worry. Don't That's worry. cool, then. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're just going to make sure that... Oh, this is who is at all the Twitch right streams they do? Awesome, we'll dude. Make sure within the next two this is my first time really plugging into this. Fear not. Um, and another pretty exciting thing with, uh, you know, we love being a part of Twitch Prime with Prime. As you guys know, you can get Trinity Prime right now for watching. But Amazon Ooh. has this thing called Prime Day, which we are participating in this year on the 12th. They, did they take the name Prime from us? <laughs> they, they did not. Oh, wow. Nope. It's pretty oh, cool. cool. It's a free exclusive coming with Prime Day. That's, imp that's impressive. Starts uh, July 12th. You can take advantage of that on the old interwebs, and uh, it's pretty exciting. Fantastic. Yes. I have the classic three pieces of printer paper that we do on every dev stream here, just trying to keep things going. But that's like, the agenda? That's the agenda. The drone through the agenda the way. Dr the drone launched yeah. this, like, too far. Yeah. But um, this has been the craziest year for cosplay at TennoCon. Oh yes, my god. Yes. 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 In fact, we have a $10,000 Canadian prize. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, Burn. So, that might buy you one of Steve's designer space hats. 
Can I turn the stream up? I can. And um, I have been told the uh, through judging, the judging panel that? and everything that happened with the cosplay, uh, we have our winner here, and the winner, winner, winner who will be invited on stage to show off their costume is none other than that guy to the left representing Harrow. Yeah! Let's see. I haven't even seen this yet. Oh, please show him. All right. Let's take a look. On you get, come on stage. Oh, awesome. Come okay. on stage. All right. Whoa, okay. Okay. If oh, you can put on nice, your helmet, man. I, I mean, maybe you can't see. But, oh, okay. Oh, you got to put the helmet you look on, bro. Fantastic. Congratulations. It's a pleasure put to meet on. you, Harrow. Put it on. Put, put it on. Put on. it on. Oh, that took a lot yeah. of work, dude. That took a lot of work. Damn. Is this your first TennoCon? All right. No, I've been here every year. Awesome. And how long did it take you to make this? Uh, my girlfriend started on Monday. What? <laughs> um, let's get a new winner. Your girlfriend wins. Yeah, she wins. <laughs> okay. The model. Does she get the money? Does she get the <laughs> Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Megan Saved. will take all your Saved. information over there. So thank you so much. We're good. We're good. Quick reminder, guys, if you want, your, awesome. if you want your free Ash Prime, so make sure excited. you have twitch.tv um, slash Warframe I, open. I didn't get to see the cosplay entirely, but I'm uh, blown away. Uh, Sheldon, we're doing a, a live stream, eh? Dude. Is that a switch? Dude. Dude, you gotta... Dude, I know you're addicted to Zelda. Is he really... Is this Warframe on the switch? <laughs> For the first... <laughs> For the first time in history... That's Come dangerous. On up. Come on up. That's dangerous. Oh man, that's dangerous. Come on up. Oh no, 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 no. For oh, the first man. time in history, we're introducing another developer on the stage of Ten Alive, Adam. How are you doing, everybody? I'm Adam Creighton from Panic Button. So I'm really excited by whatever Sheldon is oh, doing man. here. So <laughs> we thought maybe we would show you a video about that. We did call that. We did call Warframe on the Switch today. That's hilarious. I've got a lot of questions about that though. Like they're gonna have to have some kind of serious model. Yeah, we're gonna have to see. Wow, it actually looks pretty good. Considering. Cool. Alright. Alright. That's, that's so, badass, man. Are you excited to be a part of the Warframe No, no, no it, it'll probably be 30. We are so excited and grateful to it'll probably be, be low-res textures and 30. You. But I mean, it's a switch. <laughs> that's that's fine. Faithful. That's what it is. This is a whole new way for you to play it wherever you are with what Let's you have to talks about it. So thank you. Thank you, Adam. We love Thanks, you. Thanks, Adam. We will keep a close eye on that. I, I want to know the specs on that. That's cool. That's real cool. Thank you. That is real cool. <laughs> I might actually use my switch And we're again. done. Let's, uh, <laughs> that, that was it. <laughs> roll credits. I'm spent. Yeah. So it's been so hard not to say anything about that. But the number um, of tweets I get, like, hey, when is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yeah. yeah. So that's super exciting. Oh, my God. Can't wait. Cool. Adam, yeah. um, of course, Adam, thank you so much. Thanks to the Panic Button team yeah. and Sheldon for your theatrics. Pulling out the prop, prop humor is really yeah, big in Canada it. still. So, yeah. It's all good. No, it's fine. Yeah, and it, uh, what's incredible is, is Panic Button has built a reputation to be the best developer on Switch. They know the hardware, oh. they, can get, they can work miracles with it. And to have them agree to work with us on Warframe was really, really flattering and a, and a big honor. So I can't wait uh, and hope that some of you will pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very cheap. Yeah, it's free. It's free. 
It's a good deal. <laughs> so people are saying that the Warframe Switch account wouldn't so, work uh, with the cool PC account? Through. This one, um, this is just a conversation we'll have to confirm that later. A topic we talked about on a dev we'll have to confirm that ago. later. A lot of you have been asking about the Prime Vault and how we're bringing it back because this is, can be controversial. There's a lot mm. of thoughts about it. And I'd like to confirm that we're going to change cool. it up a bit this year. But we are going to have the Prime Vault launching this summer with Nyx and Rhino. So. Yeah. And... There will be a uh, dual pack with the two of them, with everything. There's going to be an individual pack, and then we're going to do two individual accessories packs as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a lot of really good reasons for that in chat. Okay, thank you. Oh, and, and they're going to be yeah, at the, they're gonna be twenty dollars uh, for each accessories pack, and there's going to be some stuff in there which I Those the drone great. blew that off my page, so I can't uh, can't read that. The drone took it. It's okay. The drone ate your homework. <laughs> it's true. I can blame that drone for everything. And if you missed that, we have a camera drone that threw my... I want to get Rhino so, Prime, so uh, I'm all like about that. If you like the best Warframe in the game mix, or if you like Rhino, this is... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> um, great. So, um, if you are here at TennoCon, perhaps you had a syndicate in your bag, and you're probably wondering which team won the syndicate... Uh, I'm wondering. Competition here. And if you received the Perrin Sequence team, you are the winners. Good job, Perrin Sequence team. So congratulations to anyone on... I didn't get a team, so... There's two people that are really excited. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I, maybe some of you guys didn't make it to the art panel, and we'd like to incorporate some highlights from that to our show. Sure. So Jeff being the art director, why don't we take a look at our first concept for a new deluxe skin? Because I totally know what we're showing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you've already seen this, act surprised. It's all acting. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Stepan, who did some fan art, and tweeted it out, kind of did some amazing fan art for us, and then Rebecca Dude, that looks great. directly. That looks and real nice. He got the idea to do a next deluxe. I don't know how that happened, hmm. Uh, hmm. but it. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And but yeah, he came through. It's pretty amazing. And this it turned out amazing. And it basically does confirm we will be doing multiple deluxes for Warframes, which is something you guys have asked for yes. quite some time. Yes, we're kind of hitting that point where we have to kind of go through the cycle again. So we're starting to do plans for that. Yeah. Well. We teased concept art for a Vauban Deluxe skin. Why not get a closer look at the model? Oh, oh man. Beautiful. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Good job, Eric. And if you've already seen it, actually. Right. And the concept artist for it's right there. I see him. Boo. <laughs> Eric better. Hey, Eric and Greg. And perhaps you saw someone in Alad V cosplay walking around today, and they have done the limbo. Oh, oh spoiler, spoiler. spoiler. Oh, there yeah. We go. No, we're good, Dean. Uh, that's limbo? Damn, dude. And next up, Titania. Oh, my. <laughs> Dead booty. Yep. We're just going through. Yeah, it's just a, this is just a slideshow. Yeah, that's just a slide show. show images. Yeah, your TennoCon yeah, experience is a slideshow this year. So, <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have Neja. Oh, my God. Work in progress. That's awesome. Yep. Interesting. Yep, and then I guess we're closing it out, right? Yep, last but not least, Nidus. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. Yep. That's cool. That's real cool. Yeah, amazing work by the art team, and yeah, we decided I need uh, to farm the him. artist who built the mesh <laughs> for Nidus um, got inspired to build a custom Kubro for it as well, so... <laughs> was that Pablo? Oh, it's dark. And you know, cosmetics are great, we love ourselves some fashion frame, but we also love to confirm perhaps that we are working on two Warframes simultaneously right now. The first of which, your first look is brought to you, um, Kevin Glint, who's an amazing community artist. We commissioned him to put this together for you. Oh wait, first is the Revenant, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Dean. <laughs> we are still working on this. Fine. It has more lasers now. You'll see it on the next dev stream. Just confirmation, <laughs> don't worry. But Kevin Glint brought to us um, a portrait based on our next. Oh. 
Oh, that's so a dramatic. Oh, dude. Oh, so that's dramatic. the top half of a person. So this is code name Garuda. That's the code oh, name. Oh, that's what that yeah, is. That was Jesus. A Keith Thompson concept again and he came up with the name as well. So. Okay. <laughs> Are those, yeah, he did, are those did. Claws, or no, there's he the did. Hands, and then there's claws, the other. The cl she's essentially her theme is gore. So ah, she is a gore, the gore, gore based gore. gore frame. Blood, meat, shields. But I think the conversation we had is Valkyr is rage and yep. she is just indifference. She's going to be a bit more elegant. Elegant. Yeah. Interesting. Fancy. Fa very fancy. Very fancy. Well, cool, it, man. Up Looking forward to that point, one. We've shown you guys some cool stuff. We hope you've had a great time so far. But we have three computers there that I expect we should be using sometime no, soon. No, it's too soon. Already? Yeah. Already? I'm yeah. scared. And I certainly need to invite Megan and Danielle to the stage to help me. Oh, Megan! She's awesome. And before I walk over, Obviously, this is a very big moment. We hope nothing goes wrong, but um, there have been devs working nonstop, that many of them here today. Uh, I'm just gonna stop talking now because, oh, here it is. <laughs> Look at that dude right breath. here. Look at his eyes. He was just like. <laughs> this, uh, this is, um, yeah, I mean, there's been some data mining, so. So we're not going to show you the things that, uh, that maybe you already know, but we're, we are going to show you uh, the next um, big expansion of Warframe. Uh, it's called Fortuna. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do it in a squad of three this time uh, for reasons that will become apparent later on. Uh, and uh, the amount of work that has been done on this over the last few weeks shows a team uh, that when people say, DE, take my energy, they did. Uh, and they needed it, and so I really am so grateful. Uh, we're, we're just kind of the live stream crew and kind of like uh, the spokespeople for the company, uh, but I know that there are people in this room that work their ass off late nights to try to bring uh, their passion for the game, that, the, your game, uh, to life and to uh, delight you and surprise you. And if, I don't know if this is awkward, but if you are on the dev team, do you mind just raising your hand and could we just have a little round Very of applause cool. for these guys? Very cool. Three hundred thousand people watching the official Warframe right now. Damn y'all. Nice. Nice. My Thank you. Lord. Thank Woo. you. There's one thing that, that makes, uh, the, you know, besides maybe uh, shame and humiliation, that works too. Uh, but there's one thing that has uh, consistently motivated our, our team to work harder, to try more ambitious things or weirder things, and that is actually TunnelCon. They come here and they see you guys and they interact with you and they experience your love of what they're making. And when they go back, uh, there's a whole new light, uh, and I think hopefully we can share some of that with you today. So I'm, I'm going to stop talking because <laughs> the demo is, what, 90 seconds long? 98 seconds long? Okay. So I'm going to try to shut up. Scott said uh, I won't be able to shut up because I'm going to get too hyped, but I'm going to try my best. I love you guys, and I love uh, our team, and let's check out Fortuna. Yeah, guys, this is our new Cobot emote. We're going to bring in a little Clem for Cobot. And uh, not sure what we're going to do with this one yet, but it's more info soon. Oh, I'm, I'm ready for this. Woo! Here we go. Is that a machine with human arms? What the hell? Corpus. Oh, that's crazy. That's some crazy shit, man. Cold, the air and water flowing hard, the land we call our home. 
Listen to me. The dark from coming. Feel the weight of what we owe. This, the song of sons and daughters. Hide the heart of who we are. Making peace to build a future. Strong Do they voluntarily have their heads removed? We call the air and water flowing hard. The land we call our I like this music, man. Feel the weight of what we owe. This, the song of sons and daughters. I, the heart of who we are. Making peace to build a future. Strong, united, working till we fall. And we all lift. And we're all. Dude, that is cool. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. That is you guys expected a chain gang song uh, so here we are we're in Fortuna and this is uh, these people are called the Solaris they are a body augmented uh, race of people that live in a debt enslavement to the corpus overlords uh, specifically Nefanyo who has returned to Venus to reactivate the ancient uh, Orican terraforming machines uh, above the surface so we're going to show you a preview of some of the things that are extensions and casting a new light on new systems. So there's kit guns for sec secondaries here. We'll just show you a quick preview. Oh, cool. It's the build your own weapon thing. Yeah, I need, I need to look into this in Planes of Eidolon. This system looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's good stuff. Cool. Awesome. And uh, I don't, I don't Man, think we'll, we'll kind of gloss incredible. over the things that you feel are like, uh, you know, extending the systems you're already familiar with, but there's a really cool new modular system that Sheldon's going to tell us about. Yeah, so, so maybe you guys might have heard me talking about uh, MOA pets. What is guys, that thing? You've seen MOA pets before? You've heard of them? Well, now you can make them yourselves. Did we talk to Boone? We can what? select his head and a body. Yeah, and a base. And each of these things are going to determine the stats and how your MOA looks and what you can mod it with. And so you can configure it any way you want. You can put a hat and you can put a bow tie. Dude, Let's if we can put vacuum on that, there it's done. Is. That's all I want to know. Will it have vacuum? That's all I want to know. We've crossed the line, Sheldon. We're like Clem and this is like yeah, yeah. player memes are infecting the game. <laughs> I do what I can. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there are new systems, and I think uh, if Rebecca goes over and talks to the business, we can kind of begin uh, something else. Uh, the business represents some of the uh, technological spear fishing. You can see Whoa, the what tanks was that? up there, actually. Oh, no, that's dude. not where the tanks are. Yeah, up there. Yeah, there we exactly. go. Uh, these are the, the uh, remnants of the uh, Oricon terraforming uh, machines that work below the surface to bring uh, this, a bit, this flow of coolant to the surface to cool the planet. Uh, but secretly, the business has another agenda. Hmm. How do you do work well there? My mission is to conserve this region's unique species. You know, before the corpus drive them to extinction. I'm known as the business. Utico calls me, uh, Biz. To capture your chosen specimen, you'll need an echo lure. 
and the appropriate dude this whole this whole so machine head that. human body thing is completely freaking me out like this is I, that may be like a normal thing but still that's that's creepy walk around fortune long enough and you'll hear the name Solaris United they fight for the workers and they keep Neff honest and if that sounds like it might be your business find you to go Stay warm, friend. So we're gonna go into the Echo Lure uh, a little bit later once we take our elevator ride up to the surface. But uh, let's meet the leader. This area looks beautiful. So, Biz vouched for you. Name's Utica. Neth Anyo's loyal floor boss. And when he's not looking... Wait a second. The voice of They're gonna go to the surface of Venus? Let's us have a quiet conversation. The surface of Venus? I got something needs doing. If Biz says you're good for it, I'll take him at his word. You gonna make him a liar? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Outstanding. I wonder what Get it's gonna look like. Dude, Venus is... So, the surface of Venus is, you know, around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, as we know it. But, of course, Warframe takes place in a far different, far future world. So, let's ride up and see what the state of it is. The old Valis was a firestorm when we okay, arrived. Okay, this is going to be cool. The Solaris bled, toiled, sweated, and died for an age to make this place a reality. It ain't paradise, but I gotta say... Feels good finally having someone to show it to. So the, those are the orbs that protect each of the Corpus base interests. Uh, they're like the lair mother to these locations. I think Danielle's gonna go and track one of those while uh, Rebecca and Megan uh, go work on this bounty. This is called the uh, Boreas Weeping Post. This uh, suctions and siphons up the coolant flow from a thousand years ago and brings it to the surface, creating a winter storm within the furnace of Venus. So we're in a, the eye of the storm right now. See that Taxman base dead ahead? Solaris United just captured it. Only problem? Poor Neff is under the mistaken impression it still belongs to him. Use that muscle of yours to convince him otherwise. This is making me really excited to do the, the open world content I haven't done yet. Oh, it's that guy! For this outrage. No damage numbers? Oh, they, oh, you can turn them off. Oh, I didn't even know that. Awesome. Geno, here? No matter. We have secured a mighty profit. The Solaris oh. United personnel roster. We will hunt them down like rats.
This is Mag Prime. Yeah, this is this is a uh, Mag Prime. The base is ours. Speak to my man in the field, and we'll get you resupplied. The base is theirs, which means you can now take bounties here or without returning. You can take territory. Weather like this, I do not miss my organics. Oh, that's so, cool. So, uh, what do you need? Okay. Base locked down, comms up. Now, no time for a break. Utica's got more work for you. This landscape is massive. We'll keep watching. You, stay warm. Plains of Eidolon would fit almost in that basin we just walked by. This crew fell back to his church. Get in there and get our personnel roster back. We've so, got good people in deep cover who are dead if we don't. So maybe this we need a way to get great. around that's a little bit appropriate. What is this? Dude, if we can upgrade and customize these, it's, it's done. It's done. Done. Look at the animations on them, too. Look at the guy in the front. That is cool. That is real cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's this? It's poop! Elwilder, do you see that? The mink scat. <laughs> A sweet smell. They feed on the gene altered foliage of <laughs> See if you can track it. See if you can track it. Oh, there's actual footprints in the snow. So this landscape is filled with returned creatures that are on the brink of extinction. We decided we'd punish Rebecca's bird killing ways from last Tenocon with a whole new gameplay system to track animals, track them, and send them back for uh, conservation. I hope they have a balloon that you put on them and send them into the sky. That'd be kind of fun. So there's some interesting game mechanics for this, and let's, uh, let's see how good Rebecca is with the echo lure. Hmm. Signs of grazing here. Possibly an endangered white-breasted vermink, judging by the bite width. And Welder, if we don't relocate this animal, the corpus will snatch it up for their feed and research division. Now, ready your trick and see if you can mimic its call with your echo lure. A young male. Hurry, mimic its reply before it becomes suspicious and moves off. That's it. You've got his interest. Now we wait for the animal to approach. Stay downwind and hidden until you have a clear shot with your tranquilizer. Damn, you man. Spook the animal. We'll lose this opportunity. This is kind of in-depth for this. Excellent. Quickly, tag it with a beacon. And I'll send in a relocation drone. It's almost like a balloon. That's awesome. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> Electro balloon. Awesome. Okay, that was great. That was fantastic. Well, we still have that bounty to take care of. So I think it's time for some more radical K drive. Maybe Rebecca can get a bit creative, yeah.
Oh, there's a good jump coming out. Oh, that is too cool. Look at this sculpture. It's just going to be fun looking around this world. Yeah, you need points for tricks. I know, right? I know. I was thinking that too. This is a great idea. They could... They could go all sorts of directions with this. It's good to know you can get knocked off. That doesn't make it too OP. Spider anywhere because those are creepy. That enough guy sure loves himself. scale of this is nuts. Those things are big! Whoa! Yeah, that's a whole lot of no. Agreed. Oh, man, they're like giant, really fast, and they have spears for legs. Kill it with ember. <laughs> oh, my lord. That is a devil creature. The void is generous. The void is munificent. Behold, it has bequeathed us creatures grand. Oh, no. show you how to beat that yet. You guys really gotta figure that out for yourselves. Thing. That thing looks awesome. That looks awesome. So I think, you know, we could show you the underground caves. We could show you the crazy mechanical fish. We could show you the lair orbs, but we want you to discover and explore this vast, alien, hostile world yourself. And we really hope you enjoy what the team has brought for you. Dude, this looks awesome. The fact that this is free is still blowing my mind. Like, great work. They're companies I know and love that I don't feel could make stuff this quality for money. <laughs> Didn't crash. I'm so excited. I know. Hoverboarding is full K. K driving is the best. Yeah, the, yeah. the hoverboard is amazing. The K driving. That's a cool song, man. Oh, Keno, you've crossed a line, and by the void, you'll regret it. 
shit. We're still being bombarded from orbit. I wonder if we can do something about that. Wait, what? What? What is this? I have walked onto an obelisk in orbit, high above the valleys. Awaiting launch sequence. Are you ready for this? Exits aboard this spacecraft operator. Please take note of the one nearest you. In the unlikely event of a violent decompression, they show the ascent. To the floor to guide you. What do you think? Capital in this sector. Be advised, they have a lot of defeat. Reinforcements are in that. You guys want to see if Danielle, Meg, and Rebecca can blow up this capital ship? Wait, what? Hold on a second. So do I. Oh my god! It's like Star Citizen, but it actually exists! Wait, but it's a multi-crew! Can they get, like, in their own turrets? Oh, you can piss This is the old planetary defense grid that's still above Venus in orbit. Most of it's gone inert. And there's enough ship. Does this mean we can upgrade and spec out the ship with different weapons and mods and things like that? Holy shit, dude. My interceptors will take good care of you. Are Daniel. there abilities? I have so many questions. <laughs> I have so many questions. All right, so the crew is, is working here. Here we go. How damage, get them off. Oh my god. Help reach. Life support defeated. Okay, this might be kinda hard. Oh, you can see the other yeah. people 
bad. firing. That's all. station for someone to manage the ship's ability. Yo, this is like... You will need to infiltrate and disable it from within. This is nuts. This is designed for, like, people to be coordinating and working together and... We're gonna get close. <laughs> that is so baller. All right, so you need to coordinate the team. Meg's hit a barrier. Rebecca's got to go to tactical and disable it for her. Uh oh, first maybe use a little turret help. She hacked the turret from the ship? What? These reinforcements are imminent. T minus two minutes. happening at the same time. Right now, Meg looks out the window. She's going to see Rebecca flying that ship with Danielle on the guns. Got to get that lore, oh. bros. Got to get that lore. Locked. It's time for the big gun. Full power to weapons.
dude, I am floored by that. I didn't think there'd be anything like that here. That was incredible. Oh, man. That looks... Dude, that looks like it would be fun outside of Warframe. That looks like a cool multiplayer sci-fi space experience. You don't even need the Warframe. Like, this, that, could have, that could have had nothing to do with Warframe, and I could have watched that and been like, okay, I want to play that. That looks cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, wow. wow. All right. So, um, wow. I guess they liked it. We were, we, were, we were a little nervous. Just a bit. We were. I kind of want to just, cr like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It, the developers. Now you know why I'm wearing a space hat. Yeah, that, yeah. That has been subtle the time whole time. Time to be space and, pirates, you know, so I know, So many people right? at Digital Streams made that possible. Um, you guys, you know, have been working on this for so long, and it's just so fun to finally show you kind of what And it looks like Arc Wings on. now have a reason. Like uh, what's going on behind it? And no, it's it's not shipping in two weeks. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, release date. Yeah. That was no, good no. Um, but for that, we should probably give away our Power Plot prize here yeah. and at home. So we should give away a hundred thousand platinum to a lucky audience member. Set for life. The winner here at TennoCon 2018 is Arlena Levine. <laughs> Arlena! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100,000 platinum. Basically just go to Venus and buy the planet. That's right, that's exactly right, Sarah. Oh Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. What are you gonna spend your platinum on? Uh, me and my boyfriend are actually gonna split it. Oh. I don't know what yet. I'm probably gonna get all the colors. Perfect. <laughs> we'll, we'll split it the prize in half for you. If you could just give Megan your account name and uh, we'll give you each half the prize. Thank you. Wow, man. Ooh. And our winner at home, someone watching on Twitch, a lucky Twitch viewer just won a power plot at home, 100,000 plot. Oh, we get to see all the names. Yes. All right. All right. I hope I win. Yeah, this could take a while. Yeah. Oh, we can like act like a prop. I see what you're doing. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I can't wait to read this name. It's Who's definitely gonna be, be co carnage. If it goes through every, it's just gonna go forever. If it's gonna, it goes it's through gonna every be that co carnage guy. I'm not sure how many that is right now, but it's probably a. <gasps> and the winner is. Bam. Bam. Lamb eighty six, eight, six nine, nine two eight nine. It's a great name. Two eight nine. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> We got a numbers, bro. <laughs> now, we should probably talk a little bit about... Like, I think I would just ignore that the demo happened and then went right to PowerPlot. That happened. Yep. Obviously, we'll have more information on you for you guys at future dev streams, but I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to say before we sort of... Steve, you, you, had, a, you had in your um, rehearsal oh, yeah. you didn't say, you're going to talk about bringing the roots back to space. That I thought yeah, was I think, I think uh, people here um, know the game's history well, and you know that we tried to make uh, science a really hardcore science fiction game uh, called Dark Sector and, and, it, and it ended up changing. It, and, and we're still proud of what we did, but we still have a poster um, on, on the wall of the office that I see every day that, that I leave my office and it is of a concept of, of what we just showed you, a, a small group of really powerful, uh, you know, teched out ninjas in space, flying a multi-crew ship, working together, Tactical engineering, fire suppression, turrets, upgrading the, their, their ship and boarding, massive capital ships. Upgrading the ship. And, and really, the part that I love so much about that is just how much interesting interplay there is between the scales of Warframe we've been kind of playing with for a while, and we haven't had a chance to say, what if we tie it all together? What if we make it work all together? And I think that's, when I, when I saw it all come together, I thought this really feels uh, at home at Warframe. So I'm really excited to finish it. Yes. <laughs> Dude, it is a magical time to start this game. If you have ever even considered starting this game, now is a great time. 
Yes. It's true. It's yes. true. Yeah, and it's, I, I, there's, it's interesting, uh, just to be clear, Railjack is about uh, taking control of the solar rails and going into sectors unknown, sectors that don't have a lot of light, sectors that, that, that are beyond the kind of railroad of the lines that you're familiar with in the map. Uh, and so it's not, no, no, no. it's not on rails and, and, and that there's a complete flight model there uh, and everything like that. So it's, uh, it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm floored by what the team has done. And uh, yeah, it's like a dream come true for me. This is my, this is kind of, this part is like my dream game. Like I love the kind of nerdy, you know, Star Trekky and kind of things, and managing the ship combined with that really hardcore action of being there. You know. Yeah. It's just incredible, and I know a lot of people at home are watching. You know, you're not That's feeling so the cool. energy in this room. That is the so amazing cool. Amazing individuals in our community who showed up to TennoCon 2018 and cheered us on on the like, yes. And we are, of course. And we are, of course, um, sending everyone online. We're going to send you to twitch.tv slash guardiancon because we now have a two-hour Warframe block starting at 7 o'clock where they're, we're going to have Warframe partners talking about what we just saw for two hours. And, of course, if you can donate towards the amazing cause, it would be awesome. And uh, it's going to be an Look at them working with GuardianCon. Um, and yeah. I met so many amazing people. Oh, my God. I, you know, I can't believe this is the third year that we've done this. And now it's, you know, it's, it's grown and, uh, but every time it's, I see the, you know, like the family, the familiar faces and uh, I'm really honored to meet so many of you who very often say I've been oh, playing. Oh, Guardian Con is a charity that we did this morning. Someone came up to me today and yeah. I've been playing since I was 12. Yeah. The charity stream we did this morning, that was Guardian Con. And you Con. looked quite adult, so. <laughs> And, and each of you that we see every time we do these, you know, there's, there's people that we see, we really do feel like you guys are our family because we see you every time and you, you come up and it's like we're friends because at least, you know, we only see each other once a year, but we get to see each other. And I hope that's how it is for everybody in this community. Um, we love you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. And, um... Are we, are we going to actually finish early for a change? Well, I think there's one, you know. Oh, there's, there's something else? There's nothing else. There's one more thing? One more thing. Oh. Are they going to give okay. a release date? Release date? If you haven't played the sacrifice, look away. For the record, this is basically why I'm playing the game. <laughs> this, this is, the cinematic quests are incredible. They were, they were really pushed me over the edge on this game. Space Mom! We gotta save her! We gotta bring her back to the good side! Alright! Good night! That's it! Thank you so Thank much for coming! We Bye love everyone. you! We that love you awesome, so much! Man. My god, dude! We owe you everything! Wow! That was better! Then multiple EA conferences, M or multiple E3 conferences. Well, definitely the EA conference, but multiple E3 conferences. Yo, that was cool. That is, that is the first TennoCon that I have ever seen. That was great. Um, I, I'm going to be perfectly blunt here. I thought they were going to flash some screenshots of the, new, uh, of the new frames 
maybe show a little brief stuff about Venus, and then the rest of it was going to be like PR and stuff. That's what I was expecting. That space thing looks awesome. There is nothing else like that out right now. There is no game that I can say is that. And they're putting it in Warframe, which already is incredible. Like that, that is nuts. I had no idea that was coming. And not only that, but I remember so many people telling me about Arcwing and, oh, I wish we used Arcwing more. And, oh, there's not really any use for the Arcwing. It looks like there's going to be a lot of use for the Arcwing coming up here, which is kind of great. And I'm assuming that if we're seeing all this stuff with the Arcwing and the ship stuff, that maybe we're going to see new mods, new Arcwings, new weapons. Like, I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to develop these in parallel. Um, because that would be awesome. But man, that... That was cool. Oh, man. I have to admit, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't play Warframe for a long time, just like PoE. And we started making, we started playing PoE. I came back to that and I loved it. Now we're back to, now I'm trying Warframe. I've been doing it for the three weeks now. And man, I am, this is, this is so cool. It is such a great time to be getting involved with this. Um, yeah, this is, this is, this is really cool. This is really cool. Um, and it's all free. I know that, that, that's the part that keeps blowing my mind. I can't believe everything we just saw was free. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, anyway, Epion says, did you enjoy this? Is a, this is actually a DE guy. He says, did you enjoy the show? I loved your reactions. Epion. That was, that surpassed any expectation I had for it. That was really cool. Um, that was really, really cool. That was amazing. And thank you, Epion, please deliver everything you can to that team that was that was that was awesome that was absolutely awesome um and also i can't wait to see what's going on with the space mom thing um like that's that's gonna be great uh that's gonna be absolutely great uh wow man wow um wow if you had to decide warframe or poe for you personally right now i'm gonna be honest warframe just because there's so much more varied gameplay that's that's the big thing uh i love poe don't get me wrong but you get to a point in poe where you have like one build you know exactly what that build does and at that point you're just playing that build over and over to pull out loot and that's cool don't get me wrong that's cool and i like it but i really like the varied gameplay in in warframe i like the fact that i can log in for the day and do a bunch of different things and they don't all feel like the same like dude i haven't even tried fishing yet I haven't even done bounties. I barely done Arcwing stuff, and I'm actually one of the few people that enjoy it. Um, there's and and now we got this ship stuff coming. We got another open world place with freaking Back to the Future hoverboards. Like, yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. I'm really excited. And and even more cool. Uh, I'm really glad that we also have hundreds of people that are joining me on this journey of experiencing this for the first time. And many of you who have been playing this for years, and in some cases been recommending this game for years. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy with this. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people hate Ar Har hate Arcwing. More power to you. I know there's probably people in here that have done Arcwing for like 50 hours and they're just totally done with it. I've only done Arcwing for like maybe an hour total. So I'm still one of those newbie people that think it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoy Arcwing stuff. I'm, I'm actually like looking forward to getting more weapons and different Arcwings and seeing how that goes. And hopefully by the time our Arcwings are super developed, we're going to have all this new stuff to do with them when this comes out. So yeah, it's awesome. Um, somebody earlier said, is it a good time to start playing? And let me just say again, as somebody who started playing three weeks ago, it is a phenomenal time to start playing this game. It's totally free. You don't ever need to put a penny into it. Uh, as a quick reminder, if you are signing up for this game for the first time, hit co.tv slash Warframe or find your favorite streamer and use their referral link. Um, not only do you help the streamer, but you also, more importantly, get a seven day experience bonus for yourself. And that kind of helps you get things started. So as a quick note, don't just sign up for Warframe, use my referral link or any re streamer's referral link and get yourself some free loot. So uh, mine is co.tv slash Warframe, but again, pretty much every streamer has one. So if I'm not your favorite streamer, I'd be surprised if I was, uh, find them and get the referral link. Um, so anyway, Man, that was that was good. That was that was that was real good. That was real fun. Um, honestly, what I would do normally right now 
is I would probably start playing more Warframe because I played three hours before this and I, and, and now all I want to do is play more of it. Um, but my wife and kid just got home from being gone for a week. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to go hang out with them for a little bit. Uh, that being said, tomorrow morning, uh, ADM EDT, we are doing Kingdom Come Deliverance and uh, the DL 